ES Audio. The first ever mission of its kind to study the marine ecosystem of the Titanic wreck site has been announced. We spoke to Dr. Steve Ross, the chief scientist of the 2022 Titanic survey expedition. The submersible technology is new. It's the only five person submersible capable of carrying five people to these kinds of extreme depths. So, uh, and we're using very high definition video and we're using laser scan technology to map the wreck. The Titan submersive will take the mission specialist down to 3,800 meters, which is roughly a journey of two hours. The Titanic serves as a refuge for life forms like corals, squat lobsters, brittle stars, and rat tail fish. But could the wreck itself use its own materials to help form new life? You've got a, a, a massive deposit of iron and steel and a variety of other things delivered to the bottom. And as that material deteriorates, it adds components uh, to the environment. There have been suggestions that it could be detrimental and there have been suggestions that it could enhance the bottom. And that's something we're going to try to look at. The mission will begin this summer. Most of the deep sea is composed of soft sediments and the hard habitats that are there, the deep sea coral reefs, uh, rocky habitats are quite important oases that uh, often increase the biodiversity on the bottom. So the Titanic represents a potential island of biodiversity. 